This is the Horl knife sharpening kit, which is very similar to the Tumbler knife sharpening kit. It'll sharpen up and shine up any blade you have within minutes. Okay, maybe not all of that, but it's still an awesome sharpener. Let's turn it around and I'll demonstrate how these work. This is the Horl knife sharpening kit. It's actually the Horl 2. And what you get with the Horl 2 knife sharpening kit is a knife sharpener with a diamond coated 46 micron grinding side, a ceramic honing side, a magnetic knife holding block that has a 15 degree angle and a 20 degree angle. In the box, you also have an instruction manual and a quick start guide. The outside is made of wood and has a very nice Horl 1990 engraved symbol. The magnetic angle support is also made of wood but a very light wood, very very light wood, but has very powerful magnets on both ends of the 20 degree and 15 degree sharpening side. Now you'll want to use the 15 degree side for any Damascus steels or any high quality carbon steel knives that you're sharpening and the 20 degree for your normal everyday use kitchen knives, your stainless steel knives and probably your everyday carry knife. Now a 20 degree angle is more robust than a 15 degree angle meaning it will last a bit longer than the 15 degree angle knife blade. The grinding block which I'm calling this piece here has two removable grinding discs. Again this this is the diamond grinding disc and this is the ceramic honing disc. This is the diamond grinding disc and this is the ceramic honing disc. Now how this works is it slides back and forth and as you notice as I'm sliding this across the table this isn't turning but however the discs are turning. You can kind of see with this demonstration here. So if you ever need to replace one of the tops you need to firmly hold one other side and just with the top here, you can see if you have this in hand, you can see they're separated. Grip it tightly and twist, and then you can remove the grinding disc. It's kept together just by a screw and easily screwed back into the top. Now, when you first get this, these might not be in tight, so I would suggest giving them an extra little twist, otherwise they might fall off while you're using them. Again, both sides come off. To use this is very, very simple. First, you choose which angle you want to use. I will demonstrate my kitchen knives today, so I will use the 20 degree angle side. I'm going to demonstrate three different types of knives. This is your normal chopping knife, and you set this flat on the table, and then line up your kitchen knife. Then it is magnetically stuck to the angle block. Now this magnet is very strong. I can push against it quite hard in this direction, and it's not really going to fall off. So don't worry about this falling off. It's very, very sturdy. First, you'll start off with your diamond grinding edge and you will grind this until a slight burr is formed on one side of the knife. You do a back and forth motion for as long as it takes, really. This could be one minute or two minutes. And then once you feel there's a burr here, then you flip it over and use the ceramic honing side. You only do this a couple times to dislodge any burr. Then you'll flip the knife around carefully and attach it again and repeat on the other side. So again, you'll repeat until the burr moves its way from this side of the knife to the other side. So I can already feel the burr. Now I'm going to take my ceramic honing edge and again, repeat a couple times on this side. Now the instructions of using this sharpener stop here. However, I don't like having a burr on one side, so I like to flip it over one more time and just do one or two more swipes on the other end to have my knife sharpened. Now we can test sharpness with a piece of paper and very sharp. Plenty sharp for a kitchen knife for cutting those tomatoes or any other fruits or vegetables. Now you've probably noticed this is quite thin, but it's no worries for any smaller knife like this one. If you put this one at the bottom, obviously you're not going to be able to sharpen it since it's hanging off the top. But since the magnets are so strong, you can just align this blade at the top like this and it will stay there even through sharpening. So it's quite sturdy. As you can, you can see it's not moving anywhere. And during sharpening, this small blade, it's, it's not moving as you can tell. So I'm applying fair pressure and the blade hasn't moved off of this. I keep going a little bit, flip it over, hone, and again, 
attach this here at the top and it's sturdy it's not really going to move since there's magnets here and here behind the blade and again go through the sharpening and i'm only doing this for 10 15 seconds so you can you'll be able to see that these knives do get really sharp so again I'd like to flip it over one more time move that bird back to the middle and then again can test for sharpness. So that one's pretty sharp. I just <laughs> ran off the edge. Now for thicker blades that are going to be too high for the grinder. So this doesn't reach. If I put, if I lift this up and it doesn't reach the top, you'll need to set this maybe on a cutting board or a block that's higher to be able to reach the top of the blade. And that's it. Very straightforward with this knife sharpener. Now I think this grinding kit is perfect for any home cooking enthusiast. You definitely have knives in your kitchen that need to stay sharp. And rather than using a knife sharpening wand, this kit will allow you to have a perfect edge every single time. It only takes a few minutes to sharpen your knife. So for me, it's very worth it. Now I've seen online, there's another knife sharpening kit very similar to this called Tumblr. As far as I can tell, they're exactly the same. I can't speak for the quality quality of the surface on the other one, but this one is definitely top notch. The magnets on the angle holding block are also very powerful. I've seen and read that on the other ones they are as well, but again, I can't speak to it. But on the Hurl, they are very, very strong and the grinding and honing tool is top quality. After using various sharpeners before, including stone grinding, the wand grinder, the V-shape slide through sharpeners, which are like pulling nails on a chalkboard. This is by far my favorite sharpener I've ever used. It's very simple to set up, very simple to use, and there's no maintenance required. Now I know some of the upper epsilon knife workers and sharpeners that swear by stone grinding. This product obviously is not for you. This product is for the person that's at home that wants to sharpen their knives quickly and efficiently. Now these sharpeners are a little bit pricey, ranging from $100 to $160, but in my opinion, it's very worth it. Like I said, I really prefer using this sharpener compared to any of the others, and I know that the angle of the blade is becoming a perfect 15 or 20 degrees, whichever one I choose, every single time I use this sharpener. I've sharpened all of my knives now at least twice, and this sharpener does a fantastic job. So needless to say, I love this sharpener, find it practical and would recommend it to anyone who needs a knife sharpener. Whether you have an old one or you have another sharpening system, I would say it's worth the upgrade to have one of these in your kitchen. If you wanna check the recent prices in your area, I'll make sure I leave a link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more content like this, be sure you subscribe. If you think any of your friends or family will benefit from this video, be sure to pass it along. As always, stay practical and I'll see you in the next one.